Hi, I'm Sarah Pichette. We are in Manchester, New Hampshire. We love the sun. We're big believers in renew renewable energy and think it's a great investment. Um, so electricity costs here in Manchester have skyrocketed. We actually doubled um, last August. And thankfully, we're already committed to, to getting solar. Um, but so long run, it made, it made sense for us. We're planning to be here for a while. Uh, did not like paying $400 electricity bills. Um, and we love to be running off the sun. So I actually work in um, at a firm that we sell all sustainable investments. So I'm lucky that I have a little bit of insight into it, but we've learned a lot throughout the process too. Um, so between you know personal values uh, and uh, fiscal values, I guess, <laughs> it was a really good decision for us. Had been familiar with Revision somewhat through NHBSR and then got to know Chris and it made, like I said, made a lot of sense. It was something that we wanted to do and just had to make sure the numbers worked. Um, and they did, thankfully, so here we are. Well, it's critical, right, with uh, climate change, um, you know, what we call in, in, at my firm, sort of disruptors. So we believe that our economy is transitioning to being more sustainable out of need because of things like climate change, but also things like consumer preference and, um, you know, technology advancements. So it's becoming, I don't want to say easier, but it's it's a bit more mainstream now, I guess. You know, it's not so such a far out crazy idea. Um, which is good. I mean, we need to be talking about it more and need you know, more people to be believers in it. But, you know, it's inevitable, right? We need to, we need to start making these, these changes in our lifestyle. Um, so I help people do it, it through their investments. Um, but personally, you know, we've made a lot of changes in our lifestyle as well, one of them being solar, um, but just trying to be less wasteful in general. So we're trying to, you know, to walk the talk. So borrowing has become more expensive. I mean, still it's, you know, I guess it depends the type of loan that you're taking out, but it still makes a lot of sense. I mean, a lot of times you can lock in rates when you're borrowing. And so while we might still be in a rising rate environment, you know, you can, you can lock in rates for long term. Um, and there are a lot of creative ways to, to borrow. Um, we personally used a home equity line of credit, um, but I know that you all offer financing as well. And I believe that that rate locks in. Um, but I like to be in control of my finances and you're not in control, you know, when you're paying, when you're subject to rate increases. And so we saw, you know, the first inc increase in a while in New Hampshire last August um, of 22, but you know, it's, it, they could go up and, and I, I sort of think it may again. And so I like that I'm now in control of it. It's certainly the long-term investment. I sort of equate it to, you know, to like renting an apartment versus buying a home, right? So we are, you know, we will own or we do own our solar panels um, and we'll probably break even within five to seven years. The tax incentives are huge. Um, it's, in my opinion, no better time to do it. Right now we've got an administration that really believes in investing in, you know, in renewable energy, but it makes a lot of sense. So yes, rates, rates have, are, you know, have risen, you know, may continue to rise, but so might electricity rates. <laughs>